This is the Healy. It's a wearable miracle machine running on quantum technology that helps with all sorts of stuff. Migraines, chronic pain, depression. All that for a meager $4,000. In truth, this device is almost entirely useless. It is the centerpiece of a nefarious scheme that capitalizes on people's health anxieties. Enter a ruthless company that operates in over 50 countries across the globe, with opaque corporate structures and annual revenues exceeding $100 million. Masterminds who love to masquerade as visionary geniuses. Genius, genius, genius. genius. A multi-level marketing system fueled by money-hungry promoters willing to say anything for the promise of quick riches. You can add frequencies to your water. I myself had surgery this year and used the Healy for it. We have investigated the scheme for months, dissected the device and infiltrated their distribution. This is the story of one of the largest and most dangerous esoteric scams of all time. Interactions are at the core of our work and also very important when it comes to learning. Research suggests that learning through interactions can be up to six times more effective than traditional approaches. Our sponsor Brilliant truly understands this concept. With Brilliant, you can learn new skills across a wide variety of subjects. It lets you explore them without ever feeling bored or overwhelmed. The new Brilliant course, Thinking in Code, helps you to understand the inner workings of technological approaches to solve real-world issues in a truly intuitive and engaging manner. For example, you will learn how to write a program that automatically responds to your work messages, making your interactions faster and more efficient. With Brilliant's mobile app, you can solve logic problems and puzzles anywhere, on the go, at home, or while waiting in line. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash fern or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. We truly love Brilliant's courses. Why don't you give it a shot? For legal reasons, we are not stating that the Healy company is a scam, but in our opinion, people are getting scammed by false promises made around the Healy by sellers of the device in the company's multi-level marketing system. When we started investigating, we were blown away by the tsunami of content and marketing material surrounding Healy. Hundreds of thousands of hashtags, a web of Insta and YouTube accounts, a battalion of devoted influencers. But one man in particular was hard to miss. A German named Markus Schmieke, a supposed genius and founder of the company. Our visionary, our genius behind the product. According to his own claims, he was a concert pianist as a child a chess champion in his youth, and then alternated between studying physics and philosophy. Afterwards, he supposedly traveled through India and spent time living in monasteries, totaling 12 years as a monk. We asked Healy for proof of any of this. The company did not provide any proof of him alternating between studying physics and philosophy. Apparently, his 12 years in India did not leave formal records or documentation. The company claims to have family records of Schmieke's activities as a concert pianist and his participation in chess tournaments. In fact, they apparently were considering proposing a chess match with Markus Schmieke. We declined that invitation but requested those family records. Schmieke did write several books. He comes across like the Steve Jobs of crystals with magical healing powers. In 2007, he invented the Time Waver, a frequency device for therapeutic purposes. More on that later. In 2017, Schmieke introduced his next big medical innovation, the Healy. What I'm presenting here is not really mainstream science but it's something like what's called emerging science. So it's not yet there at the universities, but it's a little ahead of its time. There are different versions of the Healy. They start at roughly $500. The professional edition goes for up to $4,000. Healy is controlled with an app. It has different programs categorized into different groups. Job, fitness, beauty, sleep, etc. Every edition of the Healy comes with a different set of these programs. Other than that, they are completely identical. Additional programs and upgrades can be purchased, some of which cost several hundred dollars. 
There's ones for our mental health. It goes into your information field. It literally can heal every single thing in your body. Bringing balance to key aspects of your life. It makes you feel really great. So great, in fact, you start dancing as soon as you clip on the Healy. You can use it on yourself or your pets. But how exactly does this magical device work? It is supposed to heal you uh, by giving you the frequencies that your body needs. Uh, so it's, it, is, it is meant to be, of course, I'm not allowed to say that it heals you, although it is in the name, uh, but, but it, it helps your body heal itself uh, is, is how they, they might put it. This is Jonathan Jerry, a science communicator with McGill University's Office for Science and Society. He has a background in molecular biology and helped us understand the Healy. Every cell has a specific voltage. This much is true. Everything that now follows are Healy's claims. When the body ages or becomes sick, the cell voltage supposedly decreases. To counter this, the Healy supposedly analyzes the frequencies of all the trillions of cells in your body and sends an individualized microcurrent back to the impaired ones to, quote, harmonize your bioenergetic field. Healy doesn't promise that it lets you sleep better or make you better at your job. They just say it harmonizes your sleep and work life. The scientific-sounding stuff overlaps with full-on esoteric hogwash. Markus Schmieke claims that there is a so-called information field where all the information of the universe is stored, including our consciousness. The Healy is supposed to make a connection to this field in real time to get vital information on our body and cells. That's what makes up Healy, a certified medical device and wearable with a quantum sensor that uses individually determined frequencies to stimulate specific areas of your body. All right, let's take a closer look at that quantum sensor Healy seems to be particularly proud of. The sensor is supposed to analyze the frequencies of every cell in your body in real time. Healy's quantum sensor, a physical noise source, is used in conjunction with special algorithms to analyze the resonance frequencies of the Healy user in real time. So the sensor, they say, can analyze the individual voltage of trillions of cells. Big words fitting for a device literally ahead of science and a great justification for the price tag. We were curious and wanted to check this sensor ourselves. So we went and sent a Healy over to Great Scott, a fantastic tech YouTuber. He opened the box and it actually has an overall good build quality. The Healy does produce frequencies, yes. And the bracelets and electrodes are in fact electrically conductive. However, the output voltage is so low, when Great Scott used the Healy, he felt absolutely nothing. On its own, the Healy is not doing anything. In order to quote unquote work, the Healy needs to make a connection with a smartphone. The app then transfers programs onto the device. Without a specific program, the Healy just sits idle. This means that analyzing the resonance frequencies of the Healy user in real time cannot be true. The main components in the Healy are this Bluetooth chip that connects to the phone and this microcontroller which manages all the buttons and LEDs and creates the frequencies. Then there's this switcher that connects the different signals. Oh yeah, and this battery. What Great Scott couldn't find is a quantum sensor, which makes sense because there is no quantum sensor, not even in Healy's patent. There's only this, a standard infrared diode anyone can purchase for roughly 14 cents. It is not in contact with an all-knowing information field. It is not quantum anything. This revolutionary device is nothing more than standard technology worth 30 to 50 bucks. It is impossible for a diode to be used to analyze trillions of cells on an ongoing basis or send individualized microcurrents to six cells. We asked Healy about the missing quantum sensor. They told us they now call the 14 cent diode resonance sensor. The fact that the name is just interchangeable apparently does not really help their attempts to make extremely ordinary electronics sound high-tech. The very core of, of, of their explanation for why we're ill and why this device works is, is, is just wrong. It's just absolutely wrong. It's not scientific. The Healy is a frequency medicine device and frequency medicine is not medicine. It is a pseudoscience. Ironically, the company itself admits this. They just hide it well in small disclaimers on their website, in their marketing material, and even in internal coaching videos. 
Science does not acknowledge the existence of the information field, its analysis, harmonization, and other importance due to the lack of scientific evidence. Individualized microcurrent frequency programs of the Healy device, quantum potential frequencies of the Healy coil, and the magnetic field programs of the MAG-Healy device are not acknowledged by conventional medicine due to the lack of scientific evidence in the sense of conventional medicine. The individualized microcurrent frequency programs of the Healy device are not medical applications. They are not intended to cure, treat, mitigate, diagnose, or prevent any disease or medical condition. The information on these pages is for reference and educational purposes only. According to Jerry, these disclaimers are a calculated move. The company aims to shield itself from any legal consequences. That's why Healy doesn't claim that the Healy heals, but rather that it helps harmonize the bioenergetic field. They most likely use these phrases to obscure the fact that their product is ineffective. You have to look for these, these, these words that are, that, are, that are very, very vague. It helps this, it supports this. Uh, anybody can make those kinds of claims. Truth is generally a very flexible concept when it comes to Healy. This innovation was developed by doctors, scientists, and engineers. Let's take a look at this dream team. Martina Kondritz is not a real doctor. She's a nurse who works as a non-medical healing practitioner. That's a profession in Germany which doesn't require any formal medical education. Nuno Nina is likely not a real scientist. He claims to have degrees in completely unrelated fields like decisional systems engineering and mathematics applied to operational research, but we were not able to verify this. Additionally, he has recently been removed from Healy's marketing material and their official website. Jan Frederik Polistinski does not have an engineering degree. He has worked in IT and is, quote, mostly self-taught. His main competence within the field of health comes from his own studies. Strangely, Healy has removed this sentence. This innovation was developed by doctors, scientists, and engineers. From their video on YouTube. Despite all of this, according to the company, they're currently selling one device per minute. They operate in over 50 countries. We know from tax filings that their revenue in 2021 exceeded $140 million. There's a lot of hype right now about personalized medicine. A lot of it is unwarranted, but it's this idea that I'm getting the intervention that is tailored to me. I'm not getting somebody else's frequencies. I'm not getting somebody else's drug. I am getting the thing that is made for me. And I think that's part of the Healy's appeal to be getting a targeted, personalized intervention that is just for you. We try to understand Healy customers better. What are their hopes? What do they use it for? I am using this with my clients both in person and remotely. And now we have personalized healing tools. You can add frequencies to your water. You can taste the difference. And they're using it in hospitals and in holistic health practices all over Europe and now all over the world. That's when we found the groups. they made us realize how dangerous this all truly is. Manfred Döpp is a doctor from Switzerland and deep into esoteric stuff. From July to December 2019, he treated a man with the time waiver, Markus Schmieke's first invention. It too is based on unscientific claims around quantum physics, frequencies and information fields. Unfortunately, the device didn't detect that Dub's patient had lung cancer. The treatment went on for six months, including remote sessions, healing from afar. The patient paid roughly $700 per session, and there were many. By the end of 2019, the man's condition deteriorated. In early 2020, he sought treatment from other doctors who found that the lung cancer had metastasized. It was no longer curable, and it was too late for treatment. The man died. In 2020, Dub treated another cancer patient using a combination of dietary supplements and the time waiver. Again, the patient passed away. Swiss authorities initiated investigations against Dub. Even two years after the incident, they are still ongoing. Dub claims he urged her to seek out chemotherapy and undergo surgery. There's no written proof of that. That's my main concern. That is the real harm, is that you're allowing your, your cancer to progress, uh, thinking that it's going to get healed with, with this device, which it won't. Healy says they hold no responsibility for the decisions made by any therapists. 
for the company, these decisions fall entirely within the domain of the therapist. There are tons of Healy customer Facebook groups, and they reveal just how much people believe in this device. In one group, someone asks how Healy can help their suicidal daughter. Multiple people inquire about what Healy can do for MS, a lifelong and uncurable nerve disorder that can cause serious disabilities. There are questions about using it for opioid withdrawal, for the treatment of alcohol addiction, type 1 diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and even how to increase business sales. On Instagram, someone shared how Healy allowed them to discontinue their Parkinson's medication. There are so, so many of these cases. The people in these groups are in an echo chamber of false hopes and desperation. It's likely that something similar to the dub cases will happen sooner or later with the Healy. Just take a moment to imagine if a friend or family member who suffers from severe allergies has been diagnosed with MS or is going through withdrawal were to fall for this. Imagine watching them spend thousands of dollars on a device with a 14 cent infrared diode in it. Healy claims to have a compliance team which actively monitors social media and online forums to promptly address any misinformation or exaggerated claims. To us, this supposed compliance team does not seem to be very effective. It all begs the question. Let's say you have a groundbreaking medical device that you want to bring to market in the US. In order to get it approved so you can make bank, you have to go through the FDA. If you're offering a pill or something to be swallowed, it needs to be rigorously tested. But since you're offering a medical device, it just needs to be cleared. There doesn't even need to be a test for if it works, it just needs to function similarly to one that already exists on the market. Healy emits microcurrents. In the US, microcurrent devices already exist, which are used for pain relief. As a result, the Healy is FDA cleared. This process has been criticized for years. John Oliver had an episode about the dangers a while back. Because saying something is FDA cleared is in no way proof that a device actually works. In the EU, the approval process for medical devices is also a bit questionable. Manufacturers compile their own information to demonstrate that their product is safe and does what it claims to do. There are no independent studies on Healy, so the company partly used studies related to very different devices. Many of these studies have significant flaws in their methodology. Too few participants, poor setups and too short durations. Somehow, that incredibly weak base was good enough to get it cleared. Unfortunately, this means that Healy has clearances in both the US and EU. Healy uses these clearances and classifications to their advantage to further the medical image of the device they are selling. We specifically asked Healy to provide us with any independent scientific studies providing clear evidence of a Healy device having a measurable physical effect on any medical condition. They did not provide any, of course, but they did again refer to their clearances as validators of their claims. In short, that really seems to be their strategy. Disclaimers and clearances. But is that enough to make all this legal? Since Healy is from Germany, we spoke with the popular German lawyer Christian Säumecke. We asked him if the disclaimers the company uses are enough to protect it. In meinen Augen ist das, was Healy hier macht, illegal. Jedenfalls wettbewerbsrechtlich verboten. Denn die Werbeaussagen, die sind zu weitgehend. Es ist so, dass wenn man gesundheitsbezogene Werbeaussagen macht, dann müssen diesen Aussagen auch wissenschaftliche Studien zugrunde liegen. All das kann Healy nicht aufweisen und insofern glaube ich, die Werbung ist illegal. Dass allerdings eine Straftat vorliegt wie ein Betrug, sehe ich hier eher nicht. It's clear that the creators of Healy are using very careful wording. They seem to be quite aware that they are operating at the boundaries of the law, possibly even crossing them. Das reicht aber nicht aus. Man muss schon diesen Hinweis an den einzelnen Aussagen, die man aufstellt und nicht erst am Ende eines Textes aufstellen. Also man muss das direkt wieder klarstellen. Hey, wir behaupten das zwar, aber wissenschaftlich beweisen können wir es gar nicht. Was auf keinen Fall geht, ist, dass man es am Ende der Webseite irgendwo versteckt. Das ist irreführend in meinen Augen, ganz klar. Healy responded to us, they would take these concerns very seriously and they would be committed to aligning their messaging with the scientific evidence available. 
individuals can report misleading advertising to consumer protection organizations. Both the EU and the US have online complaint forms. If enough people file complaints, the agencies might take them into consideration. We've included the links for you below. Use them as you see fit. Healy has gotten into legal trouble at least twice before. In 2021, a complaint was filed against Healy in the Netherlands for misleading claims. As a result, Healy had to temporarily take down its Dutch website. In 2022, the Australian branch of Healy had to pay a small fine for false claims. But Healy's website is not the main way the devices are marketed either way. Far from it. Healy's are sold through multi-level marketing, MLM for short. That's a controversial marketing scheme that is built like a pyramid. Individuals sell the Healy for the company. They don't work for the company, but get a commission. The most outrageous claims around the Healy are happening within this context. They happen in influencer videos, in closed groups, in one-on-one -on -one calls. This way, the company always has the ability to claim it's not their words. They argue they are not responsible for what Healy sellers are saying. Manchmal kann die persönliche Begeisterung bei dem einen oder anderen Kunden mitunter zu übertriebenen Behauptungen führen. But how does the system work exactly? How did Healy get so big? We examined financial reports and internal documents, and we decided to infiltrate. What we found is even more sinister than we could have ever imagined. Next time on Fern. Hello? I read that you're selling the Healy. Is that correct? Yes. Do you have any good experiences with it? For instance, I have a friend who has cancer, and she completely stopped taking her medications with the help of the Healy. 